Hello guys, what is going on? It's your boy coming to you guys with another banger. So before we get started with this video, I just want to say thank you guys. As you guys know that for my yesterday video, my first video in a couple of months, I didn't upload at all. And as you guys can see, you guys showed so much love on that video and it's crazy. So I just want to say thank you guys. But let's get into today's topic. So trade rumor has come out that the New York Knicks are open to using sizable cap space to acquire bad contract in exchange for assets. This, this is exactly what I want from the Knicks. This, this right here, makes my day as a new york knicks fan why because the new york knicks are notorious. when i say notorious i'm saying put notorious but exponent to like the 50 billion times i am exaggerating the hell out of it but as a new york knicks fan i got to bro i got to. so the new york knicks are known for trading away young assets young players for a win now and it never works out most recently being chris that Porzingis, one of the best young assets we had in a long time um we gave him away for dennis smith jr who hasn't panned out so far who else did we get i don't even know we got we got their pick. I think we got something else. I don't know. I don't care. That trade was garbage. We got finesse. I don't want to bring that up. Ruin my day. So the Knicks, the Knicks are open this offseason to take on bad contract. In return, they get young assets. That includes players and pick. And that is amazing. Because if you guys don't know, the 2021 offseason is supposed to be so coveted. It's supposed to be so sought after that I don't know that having the picks that we get for these bad contracts might come in handy and is going to be wonderful for us next season. Hopefully. I'm praying that this works out because, you know, these picks could be not valuable they could be 30 or the 30th pick the 25th pick the the 20th pick these picks cannot be valuable or they can end up being valuable depending on you know what that team does whose pick we got so we do have leverages in some situations and we don't let's break it down the most notorious trade rumor that's going on right now is chris paul to the new york knicks i i'm with it but i'm also against it at the same time I chris paul is one of the biggest names in this uh, offseason you know there's a lot of questions because he's up there in age what is he like 35 36 30 34, somewhere around that age but he's owed 80 million dollars in the next two seasons and i know but having him on your team makes your team somewhat a win now team you guys are going to be competitive as you guys can see what the okc thunder this season they had what a 0.2 chance of making the playoffs and they went to the first round i mean they were one game away from making the second round but we're not gonna talk about that you know because they had young players so it works out it's fine that could be a once in a lifetime opportunity you know it could be coincidence luck whatever you want to call it and chris paul can end up you know not being able to perform at that level so there's a lot of risk you know with taking on such a massive contract for a player who is there up in eight now the next the next trade rumor i have seen is us taking on player like al holford whose contract is valued at three years 81 million dollars let's be real al holford is not worth 81 million dollars come on now let's be real i don't know what the hell the 76 were thinking i don't even know what to say about the situation I, I, to be honest i don't think it was a good contract but the knicks can take al holford on for some pick now i'm saying we are going to have to give up some assets because it's three years, $81 million. We're going to have to match the contract, you know. I don't think it's going to work out. So we're going to have to trade them a play like Julius Randle, Bobby Porter, something like that. I don't know. We're going to have to make the money work out. If we get picks in return or a young player like Matisse Thybul, who is a defender, Offensive B for a rookie, I would do it. If I'm the Knicks, I would do it. You know, Al Horford, he is on a three-year contract. But if there's a way we can package him later off, because he's going to be expiring after two years, three years, uh, we're going to be able to do some good things. He's still a good player, but he's there up in age. He's a good player, but he's not worth his $81 million. Let's be real. So the next trade rumor that I've seen is Mike Conley's one-year $34.5 million. I would do this hands down. If we're getting some assets for Mike Conley, who's on an expiring deal, why wouldn't you do it? You can have the player for one season, and you're going to be able to go into offseason and uh have the same cap room uh, I, I don't understand why you wouldn't do it plus you're getting young assets back which is amazing so yeah these are some couple trade rumors i've seen on the internet i've done my research and i i don't know how to feel about them but you know hopefully the knicks are on the right track to make something happen because us knicks fans have waited way too long and i don't know can't deal with it no more but yeah guys thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed this video please like share subscribe and comment down below what you want to see in the next video peace out